Clue or Omics Explorer, there are several tools such as PCA, hierarchical clustering and K-means++ that can be used to cluster samples. In this film, we will focus on K-means++, which is a so-called unsupervised method. For large datasets, an initial dimensionality reduction is normally recommended, and one option is to use variance filtering to remove variables with low variance. How much one should filter varies with the data. As a preparation for this, we have investigated the data set using a combination of SCREE and PCA plots and decided to reduce it to around 4,000 genes. Now, select the number of clusters to look for. Either you have a hypothesis and start with that, or you start with a low number and increase iteratively. Start a synchronized plot and display the silhouette plot. Color it with the new annotation. All four groups seem to be well defined, both from looking at the PCA plot and from the silhouette values. Optimally, the silhouette values should be larger than zero for all samples, but you can't expect that from real life data. So let's try with five groups instead. Select the newly created annotation, i.e. k means five. We also try with six groups. This procedure can be continued until no improvements in group structure can be found. It's easy and fast to generate a hypothesis on how many clusters there are in a data set. To learn more, visit the Cluco website.